It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to the LBS Advent Calendar Day number 10 yeah. is what it is. And what is it, Sarah? It is Whiskey Row Small Batch. Whiskey Row Small Batch. So this is bar batch one, barrel number five, if that means anything to you. It means nothing to me. Yes, well, it's about to. I don't know what that means. No, I don't think I've ever had this. I think we did have it once at the OBC kitchen. Really? They were there. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, they were see. doing a, a tasting mm -hmm. of some other things, too. Yeah. I guess we've had it, but it's been a while. It has been a while. We do not own a bottle. We do not. So it's great to revisit it. It is nice. Did you, I'm sorry, did you say we're proof? No, this is, I was about to get into that, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> pardon, pardon me. Oh, Go yeah. ahead, please. So it's 88 proof. Um, it's a blend of straight bourbons. Um, and it runs around thirty to forty dollars. I don't know how old it is. It's straight, so it's at least it's at least two. a blend of two years. But it could I'd say be, it probably varies. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure it, um, two year might be the youngest in there. Might not. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see if we can figure it out by nose. Mm. Doesn't smell very young. It doesn't smell very young. No. A little musty and a little nutty, but like old old peanuts. old nuts. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like if you're at the I don't know, Logan's or a Texas Roadhouse or wherever they throw the peanuts shells on the floor. That kind of like dusty peanut. Ah, where the shells have been cracked, cracked and, and sort of it's in the air. It's the like a the dust. The particulates. The dust. Are, are in the air. Floating around your food. Good call. Thank you. Yeah, that's totally what the nose is. So it's like faintly peanut. It wasn't that... once peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's been stepped on by yeah. shoes. Uh, that makes it sound bad. No, it's not it a does. bad nose at all. It's not a bad nose. Um, that's great, and I'm glad that you kind of put that little bit more romantic spin on it because sometimes that smell to me can remind me of a basement or like cardboard boxes or, yeah, or yeah. that type of thing. But you're right, and it could have gone in that direction, but it does have that nutty quality to it, and I think you just hit it right on the nose. So. Thank you. Uh, nose. Welcome to the show the where the rules, the rules mean nothing and the points are made up. <laughs> thousand points. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Getting the nut on there a little bit. Again, it's faint. It's kind of faint yeah, like yeah. the nose. This is, or it's more like I ate, I ate some type of nut about five minutes ago. It's the same with the smell. Yeah, yeah. Like used it's to like be. It used to be, but it's gone now. Yeah. Um, especially more on the finish when you let it kind of. I dig think in. this is really mild up front, and it's sweet, and I think it has a good start. Mm -hmm. For me, the finish, it sort of just falls off, and I think that's where if there are errors i don't know like you, that's just for me where i'm finding the most issues with it mm, mm -hmm. and the finish it kind of has this turning point where i mean it's not a particularly long finish no it's not that and that is <clears throat> i guess in this case good i didn't love what i was tasting i don't mind how finish. it was finishing i don't mind it at all mm, well but it was just kind of this started with the uh you know with the palettes and then it kind of went to the finish Here it is. turn and it never did like this. It was just kind of a, you know. Yeah. It's kind of a little flat. Yeah, it's almost, yeah, like a flat soda or something. I get faint cherries on the on the palate. Everything is like, faint. <laughs> there's this meme. It's like, if a fruit, someone screamed the name of a fruit in another room, then <laughs> that's what. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what they say about LaCroix. LaCroix is uh, like someone stood in another room and screamed the name of a fruit. <laughs> It's so, so not pretty. Anyways, I that's thought good. I when like you that. said faintly cherries, yeah. that's what it reminded yeah. me Yeah, someone's next door screaming cherry. Cherry! Yeah. It's awfully easy. It is. Fairly smooth. There's no real, I don't feel like there's really harsh edges, though you may have, you're getting them that, on the finish. It's sort of like this middle mm -hmm. part where it goes from being sweet and there's just this weird, like, harsh twist, if you will. It's like, I'm a sweet bourbon, just kidding. It's an, it's a in night Shyamalan, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. it did, that's great. I like that. We're just coming up with all kinds of fun thousand things Thousand points, today. now we're tied. Well, you can't give yourself a thousand points. I'll the rules you. are made up. <laughs> it, and you know, and, and you notice this when it was in the bottle, it's awfully light. Awfully um, light. Which can mean proof, it can mean age, it can mean, um, you know, a number of things. I will, t I will say, it doesn't taste young. No, it doesn't. I, that's not one that, of the things that, that I got. That not come across our desk. No, that's not come across our desk yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's serviceable, it's passable. Um, until maybe you bring up the price and you say it can be upwards of $40, it's like, well, yeah. there's some 
$15 bourbons that I would enjoy as much, if not a little bit more. Yep. So I think that hurts it a lot. Yeah, I agree. Um, but if money's not an issue, this is a perfectly fine starter bourbon to your yeah. evening. I'm not mad about it. Nah. Glad we got to revisit this because in my mind, <clears throat> I had had a more negative opinion of ah, it before. There you go. And now I have a better opinion A lukewarm of it. opinion. A lukewarm opinion. <laughs> Very good. All right, what's tomorrow, Sarah? Tomorrow is Old Forester 1910. Ah, so we're back to that. Back to the 1910. Which if you want to go ahead and check out what we thought about it before, you can watch the uncorking uh -huh. um, from a few weeks ago. Yeah. Or you can just wait and see how we feel about it tomorrow. I would watch the uncorking. And then I would watch tomorrow so you can see. That's what I was, yeah. What's changed? What's changed? How have they grown as people? If you have enough time, do it. All right, cool. Uh, that'll do it for us. Mm -hmm. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please stay, we love you. Uh, if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. You can give us a thumbs up if you feel like we earned it. Leave us a comment or question down below. We also have a new site. It's called whiskeyambitions.com. If you too are whiskey ambitious, <laughs> please go to whiskeyambitions.com. It's where we have uh, our merchandise, other whiskey apparel, whiskey themed apparel, glasses, and lots more coming soon. So mm -hmm. please check that out. What else, Sarah? I'm tired of talking. <laughs> You can become a patron. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and you can join our community and the conversation. Be part of our little fun group. Um, you can find glassware, books, candles, and more on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. Great for the great for shopping. Christmas is, season, you know. Yes, this tis, tis season. the season. Um, and you can follow us on all the social media channels at it's bourbon night. I love it. <clears throat> all right. It. Very good. Um, that'll do it. So thank yes, you, Sarah. Well, thanks, Chad. <laughs> okay. Until next time, and we'll see you tomorrow. Drink more bourbon. Oh, good. It's a person. He looks like Peter Quill. Poke me one more time, Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Are you, is anyone missing this guy? Because here he is. Have you seen this man?